Okay, itty bitty, let's get ready to go outside. It is such a beautiful day out. Kim, I would love to, but remember, you have to clean your room before you can go outside. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Thank you for reminding me about getting my chores done. Wow, this room is quite a mess. That's okay. You know we can make it beautiful if we just work hard for a few minutes. Well, let's get to it then. What is this doing here? I wonder where it came from. That's a great question. I found one over here too. Let's see. We have the words make and more. What could be missing? Maybe it means we should make more cupcakes. Or maybe frogs make more messes. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, but why don't we keep cleaning to see if we can find any more words? Then when the room is clean, we can put all the words together to see what they say. Okay, I can't wait to see what other words we can find together. I found the word fun over here. And I found the word chores here. We have the word friends here. I think we're done. That went really fast. Thank you for all your help, Itty Bitty. You're welcome. Now let's figure out what all these words mean. Let's lay them on the floor here. Mmm, more chores, friends, fun. That doesn't make much sense. And you missed the verb. We definitely need the verb. What's a verb? A verb is a word that tells the action that happens in the sentence. So, like in the sentence, the frog hopped into the mud, hop is a verb? Exactly. You learn fast, itty bitty. Let's see what we can make together if we add in the verb now. Let's find the verb. I think I found it. Great job, itty bitty. So instead of more chores, friends, fun, it could be more chores make friends fun. I'm not sure that makes sense either. If we switch the more and make and then move the word friends to the front, friends make chores more fun. We, we did, did it. it. Friends sure do make chores more fun. I had a lot of fun today already. But are you ready to go outside now, itty bitty? Your chores are done, so let's go. Great. 